Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to show you how to uh, how to use a spin button to increment up and down and we're going to just open up a simple user form. Oh, by the way, I got to my Visual Basic Editor by holding Alt with my thumb and hitting F11 with my middle finger. Alt F11 brings the Visual Basic Editor. You can also get there by clicking Developer and going to Visual Basic. But that's boring. It's just Alt F11, boom, there it is. <coughs> So we're going to go to this little insert uh, button and click on user form. So now we, our brand new workbook has a user form. It's as simple as that. It really is. We're going to simply add a label. And I'm going to say, um, let's say quantity. That sounds all businessy, doesn't it? Quantity, colon, double click on the lower right hand auto size. We're going to get a text box going right about here. That looks pretty good. Let's give it a name. Click in the name box. If you don't say your name box, well, hit F4 on your keyboard, and there's your properties again. Or right click and go to properties. So we're going to double click on the name of this text box. We're going to call it TBQTY. TB for text box and the word quantity. So now we're going to need a spin button. And here's the spin button right there. Let's just make it about this big. And we will name that SB for spin button. How about quantity? That way I can visually, uh, whenever I'm running the code, I can know, hey, this is a spin button for the quantity text box. And this is a TB, that's a text box for quantity. There you go. They're linked, in my mind anyway. So what we're going to do, very short and sweet, let's just resize this, make it appropriately small. I'm going to double click on the spin button and by default you'll get a change event, so any kind of change, spin up or spin down. That's not what I want. Typically you're going to want the spin up and the spin down events. And I'll take out the change event. So here's what you want to happen whenever you click the up button and here's what you want to happen when you click the down button. So maybe you want it to go up 100 but only down 50. Who knows? Some oftentimes people will just want it to go up or down by 1 or by 0.1 or something. So let's work on the spin up really quick. What what do we want to happen when we click the up button? How about um and whenever I type the word ME and I put a period, that represents whatever module I'm in or whatever user form or whatever worksheet I'm in. And right now you can barely see it's highlighted, but I'm in the user form 1 is where I am. Right click view code, that's where I'm in. So me represents user form 1. I could also type user form 1 dot blah blah blah. But I'm going to cheat and I'm going to make it like this dynamic thing that even if I change the name of the user form, me would still represent the same place because I'm still in that current user form. So me dot tb quantity, I'll hit tab, it auto fills. So that's our text box is going to equal it's going to be equal to whatever it was just a moment ago. Me dot tb quantity plus one. Now that might seem a little oversimplified and then maybe it is. But let's uh let's just explore just doing it that way, very simply when the spin down, I'm going to copy and paste, and I'm just going to say that's that the text box is going about to be whatever it is currently minus one. Boom. So you're going to run into a couple issues, and let's see what they are. I'm going to click on the user form and hit the plate. Well, let's save this really quick, in case we I don't want to have to redo all that. So I'm going to save in the Dropbox in the Excel VBS Fun Shared Workbook folder as a macro-enabled workbook, and we're going to call this um, Increase Text Box Using Spin Button. I should say Increase or Decrease. Or I could even say increment and decrement if I wanted to sound all smart. Increase or decrease text box using this. Okay, so, so as I save that right now, some of you already have my Dropbox shared folder as a, a constant frequent download thing. So some of you just received that in, automatically downloaded to your computer. And I tip my hat to you. It's a free thing if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can just log on there anytime you want online. It's in the video description. And you can browse and pick and choose what you want to download if you don't want to get the updated uh, version all the time. 
So I'm um, click the play button, and here is our little user form. Now I went ahead and clicked the spin up button, and immediately we have an error. Why do we have an error? Let's debug. So um, just take a look here. Me dot tb quantity. So the text box for the quantity equals uh, double quotes. The double quotes means it's a blank string of text. Oh boy. So what does that mean? It means you cannot add plus one to a blank string of text. You're playing with fire because you have numerals uh, and you have a string. A string meaning some text. Text plus numerals does not jive very well. Now, one caveat to that is you could do this on error. Resume next. That means just keep on trucking. If there's an error, if there's a problem, just ignore it. So if I did that, F8, F8, it wouldn't do anything. It would just ignore it and keep moving on. So that's not exactly what we want, but it sort of is. Let me show you what I mean. So let's add that same phrase here on error. Resume next. Okay. So that doesn't do us a lot of good unless there's a numeral in there. So let's go ahead and uh, see it doesn't do anything but it also doesn't flag us with an error now what if I put zero in there now will it work oh did you see that it added whatever its current value a six so TB quantity equals TB quantity plus one or six equals six boom plus one boom minus one and so that's how that pretty much works um, but you have to have a starting point you have to have a, at least a zero or some kind of numeral for it to for it to add its add its thing, do its thing. See when it's blank. So what you can do if you'd like in the spin button codes is you can say you can say this if if me dot tb quantity equals blank then me dot tb quantity equals zero and then at the after right after that point. If we're going to add it itself minus one, and in fact I'll copy and paste that. That sounds pretty good, right? Um, if if it's blank, then just make it a numeral, make it zero, and then at least it'll add one to it. Well, let's see how that works, shall we? Oh, it's blank. Boom. Now it's one. Let's uh, erase it and click the down button. So it's going to analyze it and say, if it's blank, make it zero, and then really quick, minus one from it. Boom. So that's how we use spin buttons in a dynamic and super fun way. So thanks for watching, and God bless. Hope you didn't have to squint to see that user form. I'll try to zoom in on it. Thanks for watching. God bless.